Our dear participants, welcome back to the experimental sessions with IAVOC 105 section 1. So in this session we will see about experiment number 15 that is the study of universal gates. You see that we have already seen the operation of various logic ICs. We have seen the operation of AND gate, we have seen the operation of NOT gate, we have seen the operation of OR gate. We know that in each case these ICs have different numbers. From the numbers we actually recognize that which IC is that, whether it is an AND gate IC or OR gate IC or NOT gate IC like that. I uh, request all of you that you kindly get into the manual of this uh, section 1 of IAVOC 105 where a complete list and diagram of digital ICs have been given at the annexure of experiment number 13. Now you see that in this experiment we will be studying the universal gates. There are two universal gates in digital realm. One of them is NAND gate and other is the NOR gate. Why they are called universal gates? Because you can make any gate out of these two gates. The fundamental gates are AND, NOT and OR. These three gates you can very easily make with the help of NAND gate and NOR gate. Further you have to remember the numbers of these detail ICs of NAND gate and NOR gate. For NAND gate it is 7400 and for NOR gate it is uh, 7402. Now see that 7400 is a quad 2 input NAND gate. Quad means in that IC there are 4 NAND gates. Each of them have 2 inputs and 1 output. Kindly recall the IC internal block diagram that we had discussed in our earlier experiment with logic gates. In the same fashion here, in case of 7400, you have got 4 NAND gates, right? They are quad type, uh, they are 2 input type. The 7400 is again a 14 pin IC in which pin number 14 is supply and uh, pin number 7 is ground. 1 and 2 are inputs of the first NAND gate and 3 is the output. Pin number 3 is the output. Likewise, in uh, 7402, it is again a 14 pin TTLIC where pin number 14 is VCC and pin number 7 is ground. But here, the internal arrangement is something different. Here pin number 1 is output and pin number 2 and 3 are the inputs of first NOR gate in the IC. We will have a look at them. I will get into the video mode. You can see here You kindly look at 7400. This is the quad 2 input NAND gate. You can see pin number 1 and 2 are inputs, 3 is the output. 4 and 5 are inputs, 6 is the output. And on the other side, you can five, find 9 and 10, they are inputs, 8 is the output, and 12 and 13 are the inputs. 11 is the output. This is the 7400. Okay. Now let us go for 7402. 
सेवन फोर जीरो टू यू कैन फाइंड ईयर पिन नंबर फोर्टीन वी सी सी सेवन ग्राउंड टू एंड थ्री आर इनपुट्स वन इज द आउटपुट लाइक वाइज यू कैन फाइंड द इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स ऑफ द अदर गेट्स सिंस दे आर ऑल क्वाड इन नेचर दैट मीन्स इन सेवन फोर जीरो जीरो देर आर फोर नैंड गेट्स एंड सेवन फोर जीरो टू देर आर फोर और गेट्स now in for this particular experiment we will be using envis 6552 trainer this is a completely self contained unit you can see there is a 5 volt dc input terminal to which we have to apply a 5 volt supply so i am using an smps for that just like our mobile charger with uh, this socket and i will connect it here so once i have connected it now the 5 volt is present everywhere in the circuit remember that here also we have no access to actual ic however the pin of the ic is are available here only the pin of the ic is are available here only you can think there is one 2 3 4 5 6 there are six nand gates they have been used here so for six nand gates definitely the envis people they have used 27400 ics this is from one quad ic this is nand gate 1 nand gate 2 nand gate 3 then nand gate 4 these four can be supplied from one of the ic and these two nand gates are part of the other ic likewise for nor gate you have 1 2 3 4 this is from 74021 and 5 and 6 this is from 7402 that is ic 2 so in this case we have got two ics inside the board in this case we have got two ics inside the board although we cannot see the ics but we have got their terminals at our access now here you can find that there are logic switches this is d0 d1 to up to d7 that means there are eight switches through which i can give logic input to the terminal of the ics and these are the led indicators you can find again there are 18 number the output status of the logic gate can be seen through this indicator now you can find that each of these input switches they are connected with one indicator itself when the status is zero the indicator is off when it is one the indicator glows can you see here likewise now if i connect when this is logic high on one side of the toggle switch it is logic high when i connect this terminal to this terminal you can see the led is glowing i can give all these things okay so you can see all of the output status are okay now another thing is that that uh, you have to remember that all these switches they are properly connected with pull down resistors so that there is no problem of flapping input at the ic terminals and all these indicators these indicators as well these indicators they are already connected with internal series resistors to limit excessive current through them so we will start simply by taking this and everything to the its initial status now see first of all we will be developing a not gate using this nand gate now you can see this is the symbol of this nand gate the two terminals a and b and the output terminal is y remember that in order to have a not gate developed what we have to do we have to connect both terminals of the nand gate now you can see we have simply shorted the terminals we have simply shorted the terminals so now they are connected the output is open what i will do at the output i will connect this output 
to one of the LED indicators. Let it be D3. All right. Now you see that in case of a NOT gate, invariably we have got only one input and one output. These two are connected. Now I will do one thing. From this, uh, this is a stackable uh, type of uh, connector, so I will be using that using D2. So this switch I have taken. Now you see, already the output is high. Why the output is high? Because you can find the input is low. Kindly look at this of my finger. You can see the input is low. Now I am making the input high. When the input is high, you can find the output is low. You can see it again. The input is low, output is high. Input is high, the output is low. That simply says that yes, the NAND gate can be very easily used as a NOT gate. Okay, now let us see that how we can connect an NAND gate so that it can be used as a AND gate. For that, let us get into this part. Here you can see what you have to do. You have to simply develop a NAND gate circuit, basic NAND gate and the output of the NAND gate has to be given to a NOT gate because you know NOT plus AND is nothing but NAND. So if I subtract the NOT from the NAND, I will simply get the AND operation. So here what I have done, I have taken the output of the NAND gate and I cannot directly subtract it in that sense. So I have again complemented, I have negated whatever output you are getting out of the NAND gate, we have taken a knot of it and there we are getting the output. Okay, let us see. So I will be giving two inputs to this NAND gate. This I have given the two inputs. Next, out of this NAND gate, I will connect to an NOT gate. Now you see for this we have not used a separate NOT gate, but we have internally connected two terminals of a NAND gate so that it becomes a NOT gate. So there is internal connection. You can definitely connect it here also. I will show. So this is connected. And finally, we need an output terminal. Okay, so this output terminal is connected to this LED. Now you see this should operate simply as an AND gate. Now these are the two input switches. You can see both the input LEDs are not activated. That means both the inputs are low. I will make one of them high. You can see there is no change in the output. With this LED, there is no change. I will make this zero and make another input high again you can find there is no change at the output now what I will do I will make both of them high now you can see you have got the output this is the very simple operation of AND gate in case of an AND gate we know that unless both the pins are high or all the inputs are high both the pins means it is the special case of a two input AND gate so unless both all the pins all the input pins are high, the output of an AND gate can never be high. So here it has been very simply verified. Now you may wonder one thing, but what does this mean? Here you can see that the A and B input of the NAND gate, they have been internally shorted. So if you want to really verify, can we short it externally and can we do that? For that you can use this uh, NAND gate. I have shorted the inputs and I will take the output from this. Okay. And output of this NAND gate, we will be giving this unit. Now again you can see the output will be all and same. Both the inputs are high, the output is high. I will make one of the inputs low, the output is low. I will make another input low, the output is low. I will make both the inputs low, the output is low. So this means that Yes, NAND gate can definitely be operated as an AND gate. But for that you need two NAND gates and a specific sort of connection in which 
the output of a basic NAND operation should be given to a NOT gate. Now we will come to the most complex part that is development of an OR gate using a NAND gate. All right. Let us see here what is actually done. Now you can find that here the input, input A and input B, the two variables, okay, they have been given to two NOT gates. They have been given to two NOT gates. Okay, the NOT gates have been developed with the NAND gate itself and therefore we are using no external thing no other IC all NAND gates are being used so here if you apply the signal here you will get the complement of it so if you apply 1 here here you will get 0 if you apply 0 here here you will be getting 1 now these two signals are fed to this NAND gate these two signals are fed to this NAND gate now I leave it as an exercise to you that what will happen if I put two signals they are in complement manner and what will be the output of the NAND gate you will find that it will be very simply the OR gate operation so for that what you are supposed to do you are supposed to make six columns in the first two columns you give signal in its own form that is input 1 and input 2 in the next two columns you take complement of input 1 and complement of input 2 in the third column in the fifth column rather you write down what will happen if you apply complement of 1 and complement of 2 at the input of a NAND gate and in the sixth column you write the output conditions of the truth table for an OR gate you will find that both of them are exactly equal so this I leave in an exercise for you I will not say everything then what will you do all right now you see here what I will do now I will connect it to one of the inputs I will connect it to another input okay and uh, this output I will connect it to this NAND gate and this output I will be connected to this input alright and finally I will be connecting uh, the output of the final NAND gate so here three gates are required this terminal so what is the operation of an OR gate you look at these two ICs these are the two indicators you can see here and this is the output okay so now see if both the inputs are low the output is low if any of the input is high you can find the output is high I will interchange you can see this input is high the output is high all right now I will make both of them low the output is low now I will make both of them high you can see the output is high so this is the basic operation of an OR gate so you have very easily seen that using only NAND gates we can develop any of the fundamental gates that is NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate that is why this NAND gate is known to be an universal gate now what we will do we will simply use the NOR gate in the same fashion to develop NOT gate, OR gate and AND gate but here I will not say why the things are happening I will only show you that yes it happens but it is an exercise for you to develop a truth table to see whatever I am performing that can be verified using your conception and a truth truth table so let us see here first of all I will develop a NOT gate for that 
I have to short two inputs. I have to short two inputs of a NOR gate and then I will be giving one signal to that. I will be using this signal purpose. Low or high I can give very easily and uh, the output I will be connecting to one of the indicators. So here you can see when the input is low oh sorry I've done a mistake yeah now you can see when the input is low that is the indicator LED is not activated the output is high now I will make the input high you can find the output is low you can see simple not gate is being demonstrated now we will try to develop an AND gate okay so for that I will be using D3 and D4 these two switches D3 and D4 I will put this D3 here the input and uh, D4 here at another NOR input okay the output of this is A or B complement because it is NOR gate the OR operation is performed and then it is complemented. So this is A or B complement that I will connect to a NOT gate that I will connect to a NOT gate and this NOT gate is finally output of this NOT gate using the NOR gate because why this is a NOT gate because you can see this is a NOR gate itself but internally the inputs are connected therefore I am uh, just uh, murmuring that this is a not get okay so what I will do I will connect it here and this is the thing now look at these two inputs uh, look at these two inputs and uh, this is the output indicator when both the inputs are low when both the inputs are low you can find the output is low when one of the input is high you can see the output is high what does that mean? That means that yes, we are towards proving that a NOR gate can definitely work as an OR gate. Because you see the OR function is that if any one of the inputs is high, the output is high. Okay, let us go for the next one. Yes, again it is proved. If any one of the input is high, the output is high. Now if I put both of the inputs high, you can see the high state is retained okay so it has been proved that NOR gate can definitely make an OR gate operation is very simple output of the NOR gate should be connected to an NOT gate so NOT of NOR is OR only now the final thing we will develop an AND gate using uh, NOR gate so here you can find that we have used three NOR gates 1, 2 and 3 ok the first NOR gate is used as a NOT gate the second NOR gate is again used as a NOT gate whatever inputs we are giving we are getting a complement at the output whatever inputs we are getting we are getting a complement at the output and these two complemented values are being fed to a NOR gate if you do this you definitely get an AND gate Again, I will put that exercise for you. Make a six column truth table. In the first two column, give the two input variables. In the second two column, write the status of the variables when they are complemented. Now, these two should be fed to the NOR gate where these inputs are there, they are complemented. And finally, it will be given to Y. Finally, it will be given to that, it will be the output of this NOR gate will be Y. So in your first column you should write variable 1, second column variable 2, third column complement of variable 1, fourth column complement of variable 2, fifth column, fifth column you should write the operation of output of NOR gate if the complements are being fed to the two inputs of a NOR gate that you should write in the fifth column and in the sixth column you should write simply the truth table output column of OR gate when you are using two variables okay 
so in that way you can very easily verify that's up to you so i will connect one of the inputs here another input here okay so the inputs are connected now what i will do i will connect output of the first not get to this and the output of the second not get to the input of the not get now again you can see i have taking these two as not gets however they are not gets actually but since the inputs are shorted already i am taking it to be not get okay and the output of this is uh, connected to pin d4 so you can see this is the indicator for your output status and these are the two indicators for input status now when both the inputs are low the output is low that is the first condition of a and get now if one of the input is high you can see the output is not high i will make another input high you can see the output is not high now both the inputs are high you can see the output is high so this is the basic condition of and get when both all the inputs when all the inputs for an and get is high then only the output is high and for all other conditions the output is low okay here we can use the term both the inputs because specifically we are talking of a two input get so this is all about uh, the operation of universal gates uh, please wait for the next session in which we will come with another experiment thank you